All right, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is more about the mini bike air filter. Putting it on that. Getting rid of this. Let's get to it. All right, so first thing you want to do is take off the air box. Keep in mind this is for the Predator, so it may be a little different compared to your stock engine or whatnot, but all in all it's about the same. So that comes off. Take off the wing nut. Pull out the filter. Disconnect the breather hose up here on top of your full fuel tank. Slide this out of the way. Uh, some you have two screws down here, others you do not. So not quite sure. Uh, your setup, mine, I don't have to take two screws to take this off. Yours you might. You got a 10 millimeter bolt here. And a 10 millimeter bolt here. Those come off. This whole thing should just slide off. Just like so. You have a big hose here. Get the big hose here. That goes to here. It's just a recirculation hose. You ain't really got to worry about it. Uh, then you, like I said, you have the breather hose up here for the top of the fuel tank. Don't really need to worry about that either, but you could put a little filter here, you could put a little filter here if you want. Um, this is my uh, governor bypass. So whenever it's full throttle, it holds the governor so it doesn't cut out. And you let go and it goes back to normal. <clears throat> All right. All right, so completely forgot a step, so I'm taking it back. So take this off, take this back off. You have a little screw hole right here. So that screw hole is for this. This sits like this, and it comes with a little, little screw, and you just screw it in. And then once you screw it in, this bracket, this bracket is going to act as a hold down for your choke. Alright, so the screw that came with mine is a 9 30 seconds. You just tighten it down like that. Uh, so then whenever this slides in like this, it sits right over the top and holds the choke into place. Alright, so once you do that, then you take your two nuts and make sure you use the ones that came with it because they are thinner. And they are, oh my goodness, <laughs> those are 10 millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these 10 millimeters on and get back to you. All right, so I just used a quarter inch stubby ratchet, uh, deep well, 10 millimeter, got these two bolts in. This sits like this, so that your choke doesn't come out at all. So, and it just moves freely back and forth. No issues there. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, you take the filter, slide it on, take the hose clamp that it comes with, and bolt it in, and then mine came with this. Uh, every single kit that I've gotten has come with this. A little breather valve, so you can take the hose that it came with, put a little valve in, and just have it hanging if you want. Um, I'm going to do something a little different than that, but uh, yeah, let me tighten this up and I'll show you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. It is all done. Uh, so I ran, I got this stock elbow rubber hose that went to that little piece right there. Uh, connected it to the, the engine right there. Ran some 
little filter I got from the last kit. Um, I just don't like having open pieces in the engine. Ran a little piece right here. You know, that's just gonna sit there. I might shorten that up a little bit more. Um, put the zip tie here. It's not really tight. I'm just more or less, just in case that wants to vibrate free. It's not gonna fall. It's not gonna go anywhere. I'm not gonna lose it. But that's it. That is the intake on the 212 Predator engine. Um, very simple, very easy to do. Everything still works. So, nothing, nothing inhibiting anything. Um, yeah, I will show you guys a video of it in the near future. Uh, today is Friday. I got a lot of yard work to do. First cut of the season. I have a push mower, and it's an acre of land. So I'm going to be doing that most of the day. But um, I will get my daughter, who primarily drives this, usually helps me with it, but she's asleep at the moment because it's really early in the morning. I will get her to uh, maybe take some video of her riding, and I'll post it on my shorts or something. But yeah, another video coming soon. Uh, we I got this for the DeWalt batteries. Um, so she continue to use her lights because the Predator engine, to my knowledge, does not have the magnetic hookups on the uh, balancer, so or the flywheel. So we can't run lights at the moment, so she can't drive it dark. But that'll be fixed in the next video. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how to do that. See you guys in the next one.